Off a day. Oh, there, so, there we go. So There's an action. Oh, yeah. there we Finally. Go. Finally. Eva's been waiting. <laughs> wow, he's active. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all those. So, Eva, can you tell me a little bit about the spines and the action that we're seeing here? So, the urchins have these long spines. Depending on the species, it can be used for movement. You get ones in the deep sea that sort of walk along on them like stilts. But the bits that sting in an urchin, if you have been stung by one, are not necessarily the spines. It's the pedicellaria, which are like these other things that stick up with the spines. And some of them look like they've got almost like little crab claws on the end. And they're the bits that can sting. So what do urchins eat typically? So they'll gra grazers. grazers. So go oh. around oh, My eating them. These ones probably eating the algae. The ones in the deep sea might be deposit feeding, eating the sediment. So they've got the bit on the bottom that they eat with. Oops, it's called sorry. the Aristotle's lantern. That's awesome. How That's big do you think this one is? Like, could we get like... Uh, I mean, if we put the lasers on, we'd... Oh, Ooh, laser. So there you go, there about is. 10 centimeters. Awesome. Fender, you're so polite. I he's, love it so he's much. He's very wiggly. Oh, what'd you yes. say? Yes. I said, you're so polite. I love that. <laughs> oh, thanks. You know, like, I really feel like thinking about Kelsey's point earlier about just how amazing it is that we're able to be in this place. Sorry. The sort of logistics and what it takes to even do this at all. We have these amazingly uh, designed ROVs that are able to traverse yeah, these depths. We have these folks bit. who are able to pilot these R ROVs, people who can like navigate the ship's movement just to make sure that we can all do this. This is all a part of a team effort. And I think it's really important to acknowledge yeah. that. 